So how's it going guys? It's your old pal Baba Ganoush here again. So I'm out for another great day hike. It's a beautiful Friday morning. It's uh, like low 50s today. It's gorgeous. However, I'm not at Greenbelt Park. I'm at a brand new location. Where am I? Nobody knows. No, I'm just messing with you. I'm actually up at, um, it's called Rosaryville State Park. It's, it's down in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, it's like Southern Maryland area. Um, this is definitely, you know, it's about a half an hour away from where I live, not too bad. This is a much longer and much more difficult trail than uh, Green, uh, Greenbelt Park. Uh, you have more elevation changes. It's nine miles as compared to only five and a half. Um, so, so I've been down here, I've been down here once before and I loved it. So today, because it was so beautiful, I have two days off in a row, not just one, but though, two days off in a row, I figured I'd get down here, it's nice and, nice and cool, but it's fairly on the warm side for during the winter. Oh man, gotta love it, gotta love it. So, so this year, obviously, you know, I have one year left to really get my gear together and get myself in the best of shape possible for my 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike. So this year I, I've, I'm making it a personal mission to get more day hikes in regularly, uh, do more ru road running and trail running as well, and just to try to get myself in the best of shape as possible for my through hike. I don't wanna go out there and have to try to get myself in through hiking shape. I wanna get out there and already be in great trail shape so I can crack off 20 miles to start with and not have to build my way up to that. So, you know, that's, that's my goal this year, is to just work out, get as many day hikes and runs in as, as I possibly can, and just get in excellent, excellent condition. Ah, this is beautiful. So it's a little noisy. I'm surrounded by roads right now. I'm right near the entrance. But once I get into the thick of this park, it, it does become pretty, pretty off into the back area kind of thing. So Rosaryville State Park is beautiful, beautiful entrance on the way in here. It's like nice and wide open. Uh, you are, you do have some really great camping spots and everything all throughout the area. You know, you simply got to call ahead and register and stuff, but it's definitely a cool area. If I, if I want to do any like camping, you know, car camping or anything in the future, or camp just to test some equipment out, I'd definitely come down here. You know, it's a little bit more open, a little bit more vast. So I'm not going to be so confined with basically cars right next to me like I would at Greenbelt Park. So, so yeah, guys, I'm coming up on a road. It's getting kind of noisy. Let me put you away for a little bit. Get some good miles behind me. It just turned 12 o'clock right now. I've been on the trail for about 20 minutes. So let me get let me get some good mileage. Put that put that behind me. Woo! Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Bob Ganoush out. So how we doing guys? So I'm a couple miles in already. Again, this is this is a spectacular day. It's like low 50s, so it's nice and cool. Uh, I'm barely sweating right now. You know, I'm moving at a pretty good pace. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, just a really good day so far. I'm, I'm really enjoying this trail. You know, like I said, it's 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 a lot more difficult um, than Greenbelt Park, and yet it's still pretty easy. So that's saying. That's saying a lot about how easy Greenbelt Park is. Uh, plus as well, this is about nine miles long. So I'm adding adding three and a half miles onto this guy compared to Greenbelt Park, which is great. So it gives me some extra mileage, allows me to really stretch out my legs. Because doing five and a half miles, I feel like at four miles, my legs 
get really nice and loosened and nice and warmed up. And then I'm off the trail on a mile and a half. So with this, you know, it allows me to get my legs warmed up and then to keep on churning for some extra miles. So this is probably going to be, you know, my go-to place for really uh, getting in the best of shape this year. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the frequency with some overnighters as well. You know, traditionally for me, I don't like doing anything less than two nights. You know, I feel like if it's a single overnighter, I'm, I'm kind of wasting my time because I'm hiking into a location, sleeping, eating, and then hiking right back out again. So, I mean, I don't know. I like doing multiple overnights, so it really, you know, it challenges me a little bit more. So, especially if I run into run into an issue or certain circumstance, you know, it, it, it's a good learning experience for me then. Whereas just doing a single overnight or you're hiking in, hiking out, it decreases the likelihood that something can go wrong. Um, now, I'm not, now, I'm not saying I hope that something goes wrong. You know, you never hope that anything goes wrong while, while you're out backpacking, obviously. But at the same time, you do hope for certain challenges along the way. Again, they're great learning experiences. So that especially if, if something very similar arises in the future, you know, there's, there's no thinking about what to do. It's, it's reactionary. So that's what backpacking is. And that's, that's part of the reason why, like, I really love it. You know, it's such a, you learn so much about yourself while you're out here. You know, what your own physical and especially your own mental limitations are. And then being able to push beyond that. So it really, really challenges, really challenges your soul out here, especially on those really tough days where you're doing 20, 25 miles. You know, you've just been going up and down, you know, 1,500 feet up, 1,500 feet down all day long. Your legs are burning, your lungs are burning, and yet you still have a few miles to go till shelter. You know, really, really teaches you a lot about yourself out here. God, it's beautiful. Man, I gotta love this. So, let me continue on down the way here, guys. So, it's at, let me see what time it is. <laughs> it's just after 12.30. This is great. Oh, man, I, got, I love being out here. I really do. I mean, where else would you rather be? Would you rather be sitting at home, sitting in front of the computer or the TV, you know, wasting, wasting time away, wasting your body away? You know, not get, not achieving anything or getting anything done. Now, I'm not saying you're on the computer not working or anything. I, you, you know what I'm saying. But this is just great. Good for the body. Good for the heart. Good for the soul. Got to love it. So let me continue on down the way here, guys. There's an overlook at the very end of my hike here today, which is why I'm waiting to, which is why I'm, I did the trail uh, clockwise to make sure that that overlook is at the end. Kind of a nice, nice little send off there, right? Woo! Ah, oh, this is this is just spectacular. I love it. So, alright, guys, let me let me put you away for a little bit. I know I'm talking too much. I'm just so excited to be out here. It's such a gorgeous day. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. How's it going guys? So I'm about halfway through right now. I figured I'd stop and have a seat real quick, relax for relax for a quick five minutes, get a snack of me, have a couple drinks of water as well. Um, it's about a quarter after one, so again, I'm moving really great. I started at about 20 to 12. Um, so I mean, halfway through, the fact that I've been going for less than two hours is awesome. Um, and certainly, you know, I've been stopping and setting up the camera to do my walk-bys and everything as well. So that always adds a little bit of time onto my day and everything. But, you know, this trail, is, this trail is really nice. You know, it's not crazy difficult. You know, it's not like the actual Appalachian Trail where it's up and down, crazy terrain all day long. Obviously, I'm close to D.C., so I'm not going to have, you know, crazy, uh, crazy uh, elevation changes and, and terrain and things like that. But it's definitely much more substantial than Greenbelt Park. Um, 
you know, nice, definitely a nice little workout today. Uh, however, you know, again, this is this is not the Appalachian Trail, so I'm cruising through it. But you know, sitting down, relaxing for a quick minute, get a drink of water with me, get a snack. Starting about to be a really nice day so far, so I'll be able to get back, uh, you know, early mid afternoon, be able to edit the video and everything, get it up by this evening, which is great. I have off tomorrow from work as well, which is a miracle. Somehow I managed that one. Um, and I don't know whether tomorrow I'm going to go for another quick day hike or do a product review. We'll see what happens when I get there. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just looking looking to uh, finish this up here, you know, finish off another another great day hike, another great workout and everything. Oh, man, it's a beautiful day. It's beautiful out here. It's nice and quiet. It's beautiful out here. I'm loving this right now. So let me put you away. Let me have a snack, get some water into me. I'll catch up with the guys further on down the trail. As always, Baba Ganoush out. How's it going, guys? <clears throat> so it's just past 2 o'clock. Um, I probably about I have uh, probably about an hour hour left till I get back to my car. So again, you know, 9 miles obviously takes more time than just 5.5, which 5.5 miles, Greenbelt Park, I honestly do that in just a little over an hour and a half. So extending my mileage almost doubling my mileage is definitely uh definitely nice you know be out here a little bit longer enjoy it a little bit more rather than just basically as soon as i uh really get get moving and get warmed up i'm back off the trail and stuff don't get me wrong greenbelt park is great it's right down the road from my house uh it's literally five minutes down the road for me so for me to just get in you know, especially a quick morning hike before work or something. It's super nice and convenient. On a day like today where I have the whole day off, it's a gorgeous day. You know, it allows me to get out and spend a little bit more time out here, which is really, really nice. You know, I, I really enjoy it out here. So it's, it's, it's cooling down a little bit, noticeably cooling down. You know, feeling, feeling like my chest and my stomach. You know, my body's like almost numb because it is cold. But because I'm moving, obviously I'm warming myself up from the inside out, so I'm not worried about it at all. So coming up to, uh, looks like a really nice open field here, as you can see behind me. Nice open field, uh, just, a just a really beautiful area. If you haven't been down here yet, again, Rosaryville State Park down in uh, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Just a beautiful area. You know, it's all like farm fields. They do have like a historical area with a really nice fishing pond as well. So if you're looking for a cool area to do some hiking or to do some camping with the family, get out and about a little bit where without having to drive, you know, an hour and a half, two hours to, uh, you know, Shenandoah or anything like that. This is a great spot. They have some intertwining trails as well. Um, you're a, lot, a lot of people come up here for mountain biking. They have horseback riding up here as well. I've been seeing, I've seen a couple people do some trail running. Um, it's a great spot. As you can see, I have a nice, nice little opening behind me. It's good to get, uh, get out of the green tunnel for a little bit. But this is, this is beautiful out here. You can see uh, there's a couple hawks flying around as well. This is just a beautiful area. This is just beautiful. Look at that. This is just a beautiful view right here. Seriously, would I would I want to be anywhere else? This is just this is just a beautiful day. I'm enjoying myself right now. Obviously, I'm talking a little bit, a little bit more than usual, or about the same amount. I don't know. I like I talk a little bit, but that's because I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Ah <laughs> oh, man, this is just great. I can see they have like benches and things set up in these fields. I think this is where. Some people come to do like camping and stuff like that. So, all right guys, let me get going here. I'm about two thirds of the way through. So I have a little over an hour left till I get back to my car. Enjoy the rest of it here. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I'll talk to you guys further on down the trail. Baba Ganoush out. Well, all right there, guys. I'm uh, back to my car already, it looks like. So I thought that I had an overlook coming up, but it looks like I actually passed it when I first started. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of like off to the side. There's really not any trail markers here or signs that actually tell you that there's an overlook. 
it's just like a side trail that deviates and then there it is so i'll have to come back here another time so i can uh you know get back in there and show you guys the nice overlook give you guys a good view and everything but otherwise you know really nice really nice hike today it's just before three o'clock um so not even three and a half hours nine miles which is awesome and that was even me you know stopping for a rest uh me doing you know putting the camera down and doing walk bys and stuff like that as well uh so certainly i could have done it maybe about three hours even which would be amazing um, but really good day today. It's a gorgeous day. I'm glad I could get out here Get a good hike into myself get my legs nice and strong Because like I said, I got a this year I'm gonna be grinding it out and doing a lot of uh, doing a lot of training a lot of day hikes and, and getting myself physically prepared For through hike 2018 obviously that's a whole year away and everything but it sure comes by nice and fast Especially when when you're working hard and everything so thanks a lot again for following along on another great day, another great hike, another great video. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, all the support that you guys have given me. You know, you guys keep on motivating me to do more and more stuff, and it's all because of you. So thank you guys so, so much for everything. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Stay warm if you're experiencing some cold weather. Stay safe if you're going to have snow or anything this weekend. And as always, Baba Ganoush out.